Hey guys, today we are going to create our own screen recorder using JavaScript. So you can click on this record button and this will bring this pop up where you can select who, which screen or window to record. So we can record our entire screen, we can record a specific window or we can record a specific Chrome tab. So let's say we want to record our entire windows or entire screen. So I'm going to select this and click on share and as you can see it will start recording our screen and it although this is running on JavaScript which runs on browser, this will not only record the browser screen but every thing in the display or screen so this is very powerful and you can click the stop sharing button and the recording will be completed and now you will be able to see the video in the browser page and the video will also be downloaded so you'll be able to see it using your media video player so let's not waste any time and get started by creating an index.html so index.html and we also need a javascript file called main.js so main.js so let's create the basic markup in our html so exclamation mark tab let me close the sidebar and we need to link our javascript file here so we're gonna say script source equals to main.js so main.js like so and let's open it up with our live server so open with live server so right now we have this empty page so let's create a video element so we can say video and we want controls so controls and let's say the width should be 600 pixels so 600 and we also need this record button so let's create the button and it will say record if we save it you will see we have this video element and the record button that does not do anything for now so let's do so let's make it interactive in our javascript so let's target the button so we can say let btn equals to document dot query selector button and we're gonna add an event listener to it so we can say button dot add event listener we're gonna listen for the click event and it will run this function so let's for now let's just do an alert so we're gonna say alert hello world so if we click it as you can see it says hello world okay now we we need to show this pop-up that this pop-up that lets us select which screen to record so let's do that so we're gonna say let stream equals to navigator so we're gonna say navigator dot media devices and we went to get the display media so we're gonna say get display media because we want to record our display or screen and here we have to pass some options so we want to record video so we're gonna say video to true now if you want to record audio you can also say audio to true but I don't want audio so I'm not saying that and, and now if we click on record as you can see we get this pop-up but if we try to console log this so we're gonna say console console dot log so console dot log stream if we now console log our stream let me open up the console so if we now click on cancel or something as you can see it gives us a promise so we have to use async function here so we're gonna say async and here we're gonna use await so await like so now if we click on the record button again and select a screen and click on the share as you can see this we can see our screen screen is being shared but it is not being recorded to record it we need to create a media recorder object so we're gonna say let record media stream or media recorder recorder it will be new media recorder and we have to pass the stream this this stream here now this will work for most browser but some browser does not support specific meme type or video codecs so we have to do this so we are saying if if the browser supports video dash webm with a codex of vp9 that then we are gonna set it to meme type to video slash webm otherwise we are gonna set it to this and here we have to pass the option pass the option and we are gonna say meme type equals to meme and now this should work for more most browser but now when when we click on this record button select a screen and click on start sharing what will happen is this the recording will give us data in chunks not not in a entire block so we have to keep keep accepting the, those chunks and save them in a variable so let's do that so we're gonna say let chunks equals to so we can say let chunks equals to an empty array and we're gonna say media recorder dot add event listener and we're gonna listen for the data available so when a chunk of data is available we basically want to push it in our chunks so we're gonna say chunks dot push event dot data and then 
बट और मीडिया रिकॉर्डर वन बी स्टार्टेड येट बिकॉज वी हैव टू मैन्युअली स्टार्टेड सो वी आर गन से मीडिया रिकॉर्डर डॉट स्टार्ट सो डॉट स्टार्ट now we have started our media recorder and we have we are also keep accepting the data and saving them in a variable but when we click on the stop button we want to play the video in this video element and also download it so we are going to say media recorder dot add event listener stop so when the user clicks on the stop sharing button the sharing should be completed and we want to show it in our video element so for right now we have this chunk of data which is a stream data and we want to convert it into a blob so we are going to say let blob equals to and we are going to use the new blob so we are going to say new and blob and here we have to pass our chunks so chunks and we need to set as type so we can simply say type equals to chunks 0 so chunks Zero dot type. This will give us the type of our chunks. Okay, now we have this blob, and now we are going to show show this data into our video. So we are going to say first select our video. So we are going to say let video equals to document dot query selector. So document dot query selector, and we are going to select our video element. So we can say video. and we are going to say video dot source equals to so we are going to say video dot source and we are going to say url dot create object url and pass the blob here so if we do this let's see if it works now let me close the console so click on the record let's select the screen let's record it for a while let's try to type something here like so and click on the stop sharing and as you can see we got the video playing on our browser so now we have to just download the video so how we can do that so for that we're going to use the hyperlink or the a tag so we're going to say document dot create element a and we're going to say a dot href to again we're going to say object dot create url and we're going to create the url from the blob that we created and then we're going to say a dot download equals to video dot webm so whatever you say here the video will be saved as that name and finally you have to say a dot click and now let's try to run it one more time and click here click on share let's say hello and delete it and click on stop sharing and as you can see the video was recorded and it was also downloaded so you would be able to play it through your media browser media player like so so okay guys that's going to be it i hope you learned something new if so toss a like and i'll see you next time